What's going on guys, it is Golazio here, welcome back to another FIFA 20 career mode tutorial. Guys, today we are going to be going in depth about squad roles. So this is what you offer a player when you're in contract negotiations, how frequently will they be playing and how important are they to your squad. This is broken up into several different areas and we're going to be talking about them today and giving you the best tips to actually utilize players, especially with dynamic tension play now, you need to know this. But guys, make sure you do hit that like button. Of course, if you are new around you, don't forget to subscribe. It supports the channel so much, and it means so much as well, guys. But anyway, guys, let's get on into the first squad role. So the first squad role we're going to be looking at is prospect. So your type of player that you're really going to be falling into this is your youth academy more than anything. You might get the odd 16-year-old or 17-year-old that you might sign to your side, but that will probably fall in the next category, which we'll go into in a few moments' time. But your prospect is only going to be expecting a couple of games a season. I mean, literally three to five tops, and that includes all competitions. But one of the things with these particular players, they are expecting to feature in pre-season a lot more. So one of the perks is, is that you can play in pre-season, sim the games if you want, and then they will not kick up a fuss for about six to seven months or so. Usually when you're in your more important games with the way uh, EA actually makes career mode work. But with your youth academy as well, which your prospect players will be falling into, it is vitally important that you do offer that particular contract because then you won't actually, they won't be expecting so much playing time especially with dynamic potential in play if they don't expect that playing time but they are exceeding it dynamic potential will kick in quite a bit if you want to see more of an in-depth video on dynamic potential check out the videos across the top now and of course the links in the description guys there's plenty of tips there coming in next guys we do have sporadic players which is usually a players like the feature every so often but they prefer to feature in certain competitions so more of your knockout cup games your champions leagues your league cups that type of thing so not domestic or league games even i should say so the type of player that really kind of falls into this this can be any player in an any age bracket so quite predominantly you're going to get your 21 to 18 year olds really fall into that bracket but if you've got players who have kind of been in the squad for a long time and you're slowly negotiating a contract down, they will fall down to a sporadic type player. So they will only feature in cup games. Usually if you have a third choice goalkeeper something down those lines, they will be featuring as a sporadic type player. This particular player, like I just mentioned, will only be one of featuring in in-cup games. So realistically, around 10 times a season. So nothing completely drastic. And if you don't meet that around 10 game mark, it isn't really going to matter too much, especially with the older players and the younger players. They just ain't going to develop as much, that's all. Coming in next, guys, we do have rotation. So rotation, in all fairness, is usually around your set third tier, I would say, type player, or possibly your second, sometimes on the bench for your actual squad. This particular player is only expecting to feature in your team every month or so. Nothing really too particular drastic. But the great thing is, is what well, they prefer coming on as a substitute. So if they are featuring on the bench, and you only want to feature them once a month or so because they're not really up there yet, bring them on as a sub. That kind of triggers their contract a little bit, saying they're meeting the minimum requirements. And the real thing with that as well, the more you meet that minimum requirement, you will end up seeing dynamic potential kick in quite a bit. Because usually with rotation players, they are your hidden gem players that you're signing. They're not important, but they will be eventually. So you need to keep them happy. So squad rotation... Definitely a contract to really consider if you are going to be signing like a hidden gem type player. Coming in next, we do have squad role of important. So important is usually your one below star players. So this particular players are like the ones which are, if I was going to give you ratings, so say if your star player was 89, this guy is going to be around 86. Basically, he's going to be one of the more important players in your side. Basically, they need to feature every other game or so uh, or come on as a sub. And the brill thing is with actually putting them on as a substitute is that the fact that you don't have to worry about any particular time that you bring them on. You bring them on in the 90th minute 
and they will actually feature, that will count towards our contract, so it will meet that minimum requirement, which is really good. But it is every other game or so, so what I usually tend to do to kind of help meet it is that I have my first team squad, my second team squad, um, and then they usually feature in that second team squad quite a bit, or they float in and out of the first team as a sub down Norris line. So kind of the best way to do it is that you have two squads and you can easily manage it quite well. Come on, guys, we do have critical. So this is the one which a lot of you will probably use quite predominantly when you're signing star players. They want to feature every single game other than cup games, which I think is really good. So when it depends on the competition. It understands the prestige of the competition. So like the Champions League, it will kick off. Um, but like the League Cup and the FA Cup, they don't seem to kick off about. I've seemed to experience this quite well, in all fairness, which is not too bad and really happy with. So this particular player, like I mentioned, will be one of featuring every single game. They want to be the first team on the team sheet. You're going to get a lot of messages. Usually you get a lot of messages with uh, saying, I think I should be ahead of this particular player that's starting. So really take in consideration when you actually put someone on a critical role. So usually when you do sign them, they're the best rated player of your team as you're going to sign them. So if all your team's 79 rated and you sign an 80 rated, they will want a critical contract. So take that in consideration, guys. But anyway, guys, they were squad roles, contract roles, however you like to know, name them even, I should say. And to be fair... Understanding these are vitally important in career mode. You need to know this with dynamic tension in play. Like, if you know for a fact you're not going to be playing this player much throughout the entire season, you don't put them on it on a higher contract role because effectively you're ruining their potential. So really take that in consideration. So you've got to prospect a few games a season, sporadic, cup games predominantly like featuring. Rotation is at least once a month, including as coming on as a substitute. Important is usually start every other game or near enough every game, potentially coming on as a sub. And also you have your critical, which is feature every single game. So only use critical if you are signing the best, the creme de the creme players. And even if they like 80 rated, the highest rated player that you're going to sign for your side, make sure they have good potential because eventually you're going to have to negotiate that contract down if their potential doesn't go up. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial, hit that subscribe button because i got plenty more tutorials coming your way very, very soon. But anyway, guys, my name is Golazio. Thank you very much for watching. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.